Hello there Pixel Pushers, it's Sadiq Hussain here with another video tutorial on Affinity Photo and here's a very quick um, tip and also uh, a quick, st uh, it's a start to a much more detailed uh, video about how the um, blend mode of overlay but with a 50% grey um, uh, colour layer uh, how you can actually affect the exposure of an image either for the whole image or partly and then we'll go in to explain uh, in the later video about why is it that the overlay option in the blend mode gives you that effect but let's just demonstrate here very quickly on this reasonably well exposed daytime image uh, of a, of a uh, countryside scene um, you can see the gradation of the sky from slightly darker blue down to light blue which is what you normally see uh, across the horizon and lovely greens uh, at the bottom here so nothing's been done to this image other than it's just been developed from the raw file just with a little bit of boost in the contrast and um, and the brightness but here is a uh, we're in the photo persona of uh, affinity photo so what do we simply do we go to um, the uh, shape tool choose rectangle and if you're snapping is enabled at the top here then it makes it easier so that as soon as you move your your cursor to um, the corners of your image not that it's critical it then locks into place and just draw just drag with your mouse or with your trackpad a, a new layer gets created which is the shape of a rectangle which obviously fits our image now don't worry that it, the fact that it's a white fill at the moment so we just go to the fill option on the top left hand side don't forget whichever tool you've got selected on the left hand side you get the tool context variables uh, at the top here in the toolbar so we, we click on that um, swatch and what we want is a 50% gray now there's obviously a number of ways of, of getting that but if you just look at this number here the lightness and we want to have that not at 100 but at 50 so if we put that at 50 clearly you can't see anything at the moment because that uh, that layer is obstructing the layer beneath it because the blend modes is normal which means the top layer blocks the one below it so if we just change the blend mode to overlay what we want is overlay and under overlay if you have 50% grey then actually it has no effect on the image so if I disable that layer you'll see as I toggle between them you will see absolutely no difference so it's effectively had no effect at all on it but if we now go back into make sure that layer is selected if we go back into the fill and if I demonstrate to you if you move the strength of the fill towards the darker color it darkens the whole image if you move it down to make it a, a white layer then it makes the image brighter now we'll explain what's actually happening in the follow-up video but let's say i wanted to turn that daytime scene into a nighttime scene if i just pull that up so that the sky becomes almost like a twilight sky and all i'm doing is making that you can see that fill layer here on the right hand side has become a much darker gray a slate gray nearer to black but because of the way the overlay blend mode works it actually is displaying the pixels to be a little bit darker all of them a bit darker so if we just stick with that but of course if we feel that uh, that looks more like a nighttime or a twilight scene but if we felt that we didn't want to have that strength of that effect at the bottom here of course we can add uh, a layer mask so bottom right sorry bottom left of your uh, layers palette uh, just click that to uh, to add a mask to that rectangle layer and now of course if we select the paintbrush make sure it's painting with black pick a suitable size brush uh, and the other thing is make sure that um, if your opacity is full 100% you'll get demarcation lines showing on, uh, on, on your stroke so bring the opacity right down bring the flow right down as well so that 
um, you have to paint over it many times uh, for the brush to have a, a sizable effect. Make sure hardness is down to zero so you have a soft edge brush. Sorry, I just clicked there by mistake. Um, so down here now, because I've got brush preview enabled in the settings, which we've covered before, um, all I need to do is to paint with that. And because, make sure I've got, I've got that selected. As I paint with it, can you see it's having an effect just on, um, oh, that's not, uh, should be painting on there only. Right, now, painting with black, so it should make the image lighter. Painting with black, remember, masks out the effect that you had previously. And the effect we had previously is that the, um, more than 50% uh, gray layer, it was almost charcoal, um, slate gray layer, was making the image darker. So I want to block that effect in the foreground. And obviously you could go in and fine tune this with a finer brush, zoom right in, reduce the size of your brush to, to really get that right. But to give you an idea of what that's doing is that the, the gray layer darkened the image completely to give it more of a, a nighttime effect, twilight effect. But by adding a mask, I'm able to then be selective of how that effect is displayed on the image itself. So we'll leave it at that. So that's the start of this demonstration of what a 50% gray layer with the layer blend modes to be in, um, uh, overlay, what effect that has. Okay, so if you went into that, uh, the shape uh, layer that we created, remember it's an overlay blend mode and the, how that blends with the image. And if we just toggle that on and off, so that's the original image. We put the layer on, darkened it, but we've also selectively blocked that effect at the bottom uh, if you wanted to do that. Okay, thanks for watching and um, I'll see you in the next follow up one, which will be very, very quickly, which will go into more detail of why that overlay gives you this particular effect. And of course, many other ways you could apply that. I'll see you next time.